Hey, it's Lindsay from Buy, Sell, Love, Durham. Pretty stoked about today's video. And we're talking about today is where do you find the cheapest homes by type in the GTA? So before we jump into that, if you like these videos, click the subscribe button. You won't miss one. They come up once or twice a week. And the information is all based on my selling real estate. I've pretty much done everything in the real estate uh, industry. I've owned brokerages. I've managed people. I've flipped homes. I've actually bought, sold, renovated. I've done it all. So you can rest assured that the information that I talk about is exactly tried and true, proven, boots on the ground information. So where do you find the cheapest home in the GTA by type? Because different communities will have different values and different types of homes. So number one, detached home, Bloor Street, Oshawa. The last one that sold there was 441,000. That was a three bedroom, two bath home. Three bedroom, two bath, 441,000. For semi-detached homes, we stay in Oshawa. One sold on Venus Street for 478,000. And again, that was a three bedroom, two bath home. For freehold townhouses, we do jump up a bit in price. The cheapest one sold on Pomeroy in Clarington, and that one sold for 575,000. That was a two bedroom. When you jump to condo townhouses, we go back to Oshawa, 300,000 bought a three bedroom condo town. So $300,000 for someone to buy their own home or for buy it for a rental property. Apartment condominium will go to the downtown uh, Bowmanville. It's on Wellington. It's a beautiful little quiet complex. And it's the one sold in there, one bedroom, sold for 390,000. So if you're looking out there right now and you're kind of just checking on realtor.ca and seeing what's available, under 500,000, there are 12 properties for sale. Oshawa has seven, Clarington has two, Skugog has three. So there's lots of opportunity out there. If you've got any questions, shoot me a message in the uh, comment section on YouTube, or you can catch me on any of my social media platforms. And I look forward to chatting with you next week.